Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. And welcome to our service tonight. Uh, we want to say thanks to Lonnie and Edith for filling in for me uh, Monday night. But we're all here tonight with a good group of singers. They're going to be blessing you in just a short time. And we welcome you to stay tuned. And uh, uh, so if you need to call, fine. We do have phone operators. And if not, well, then just enjoy the service. Well, we, uh, we have some uh, scripture that tells us the real reason why that we have this season of the year. Uh, many times I'm afraid it has been forgotten why we even celebrate uh, this time of the year. But uh, in Luke, the second chapter, I want to share with you. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augusta that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went out to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up into Galilee out of the city of Nazareth and uh, Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which... Uh, is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came, and with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made, they made uh, known abroad the saying which was told them concerning the child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told to them by the shepherd. But Mary kept all of these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen as they were told unto them. This is the reason that we have this time of the year, this because Jesus came to earth as our Savior. And so uh, as, as we... We know the, it has become so commercialized that you go and you see everything uh, pointing to uh, 
just pacifying people and pleasing them, but not anything about why, why we are celebrating. We should, it's, we're celebrating the birth of our Savior. And so tonight, if you've never really realized why that we have Christmas once a year, well, it's to remember the greatest gift that was ever given, and that was the Lord Jesus gave his life for us that we could be saved and go to heaven when we when we leave this earth. And so tonight as we go into the service, we, uh, we want you to think about this. And if you have forgotten or you let the truth slip from you, maybe you can be reminded of how good the Lord's been to you. And had we not had his birth, we would not be celebrating this and have the good life that we have now. We have a good life because we have him to walk with us daily and we have him that he will never leave us nor forsake us and at death, well, he'll take us to heaven to be with him. So this is the best possible. And so we're just so thankful and we're praising God tonight for his love for us and his goodness. And uh, as if, uh, uh, as we like i say if you need if you need prayer tonight feel free to call and if not just pray for those that do that are in need there's some people that are so deceived they're so mixed up they don't know what christmas is all about but we need to get back to the basics read the strip scripture and study it so let's pray father in the name of jesus we thank you lord jesus for coming to this world giving your being born and going through all of the pains and the agony of trying to grow up and all the mistreatments and everything that you took because of your love for us you you withstood all these things and so we thank you lord we thank you that you love us we know you do you with us daily and tonight father we just pray to warm the hearts of those that are discouraged those that have no one to lean on. We know you're standing there waiting for them to recognize you are their savior, you are their healer, their helper, and their comfort. And so just bless in the service tonight, bless the, the singers, the phone operators, the staff, and the, all of our audience. Lord, we're all gathered in your name in different places and different circumstances, but Lord, you see us all as who we are and we thank you and we praise you for that in jesus name amen and talking about the nativity uh, we uh, wanted to tell you about there's a, a live nativity scene here in lee county if you would like to see it tomorrow night friday night uh, starting about 5 30 it's about three miles or so out of Bateville at the First Church of God, there's a live nativity scene. So it'd be worth the effort to go see it. Another reminder of uh, why we are celebrating. All right, we have a good group with us tonight and they're from Lexington, Kentucky. They found their way all the way up here in this country and we appreciate that. Rahab's Rope from Lexington and uh, they have a lot of information they're going to share with us, but uh, right now, let's just welcome the entire group. Thank you so much. It's a beautiful pleasure to be back here with you all for Christmas. Uh, what a special time of year. We love singing in Christmas because people's hearts are drawn to the Lord more than ever this time of year, and we feel like music is such a special way to maybe take somebody back to the memory of when they were a child and this music was significant to them as a reminder of who Jesus is and how much he loves them. Sing along with us. You may know some of these songs. One and two and
song we're going to sing is called Mary's Boy Child and we just did a Christmas album so we're excited to have this be one of the songs on the album and we hope you enjoy this song as well. with these people. We've been playing together for 12 years, and we've been doing Christmas music about that long, and one of the favorites many, many years has been Mary Did You Know, which I know you all know, so sing along, because it's a, a beautiful, beautiful song. Would 
give sight to a blind man. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm the storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? When you kiss your little baby, you kiss the face of God. Mary, did you know? song gets me every time. <laughs> the next song we're going to sing for you is called New Star Shining. It's got some Kentucky roots to it. It's actually written by Ricky Skaggs and James Taylor. So maybe some Skaggs in the audience. This is from Uncle Ricky. <laughs> a song called New Star Shining. No crib, no toys were waiting. Still, they had their love for the child they were anticipating. He was born one winter night on a road between two towns. They wrapped him up so warm and tight and said, it looks like heaven's come down. There was a new star shining in the sky up above. By his light that winter night, they found peace and perfect love. If we want to find it, I know we always will. Cause that new star is shining. It was 
was hard enough to make ends meet when they were only two. But the cold, the dark, the hunger couldn't take away their joy. And they knew they'd find a way for that precious baby boy. There was a new star shining the sky up above by his light that winter night they found peace and perfect love if we want to find it i know we always will cause that new star is shining recorded a Christmas album this year and there's a song on there that the Lord gave it to me about 12 years ago and it's talking about an event that happened in 1914 in the First World War when German and English soldiers soldiers one Christmas Eve started singing Christmas carols to each other and this song tells about that it's called in Flanders Fields and it's on the album <laughs> it's Rahab's Rope original and uh, we'd love to s share this with you now about a hundred years ago, our fathers' fathers fought in the great war. long and deep that scarred the earth. In Flanders fields they bled and died and many young men gave and many young men gave their lives. turned to times of snow and families from far away sent tidings of the Christmas day to soldiers on both sides and on that moonlit Christmas Eve one side was so surprised to see the trench across the field light up with Christmas trees and soldiers went to caroling the good news that the Savior brings in a symphony of enemies.
if only for one holy night. In Flanders' fields, they bled and died, except for on that holy, except for on that holy Torch and met Isabella. Bring a torch, come swiftly and run. Christ is born, tell the folk of the village. Jesus is sleeping in his cradle. Ah, ah. Beautiful is the mother. Ah, ah. Beautiful is her son. Folk of the village, hasten now, the Christ child to see. You will find him asleep in the manger. Quietly come, whisper softly, hush, hush. Peacefully now he slumbers, hush, hush. Peacefully now he sleeps. probably from the 1500s, and this one's even older, but you've probably heard it before. Speak. 
This next song is one that was actually a poem, I believe, by Wadsworth that was turned into a hymn that has been, you might say, modernized and um, was it uh, Casting, Casting Crowns. Crowns, thank you, <laughs> Casting Crowns has made this popular and we've been doing it for a few years called I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day and uh, it's a little bit intense but the message is so powerful. We love, we love doing this song. the bells on Christmas Day, their old familiar carols play, and wild and sweet their songs repeat, a peace on earth, good will to men, and the bells are ringing. Like a choir singing Hate is strong and mocks the song of peace on earth, good will to men. But the bells are ringing like a choir singing. Does anybody hear them? Peace on earth. God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail. With peace on earth, good will to men. And ringing, singing on its way. The world revolves from night to day. A chime, a chant sublime A peace on earth, good will to men And the bells are ringing Like a choir they're singing And with our hearts we'll hear them Peace on earth Angel 
we need today we pray we pray the lord will bring peace on earth and the title album title song of our album is called prince of peace this is another rahab's rope original that uh, we've been doing for many years <laughs> we all started singing in church together many years ago and we then formed the band 12 years ago and um prince of peace we bring to you good good old song here There's a box that we unwrap about this time of year. All the pieces in their places, you'd know which one for sure. There's Joseph and the angels and the shepherds and the hay. Everybody getting ready for the holy day. And there is Mary looking at her baby. Prince of Peace And there is Mary looking at her baby Prince of Peace Prince of Peace Emmanuel Be real in us And in us dwell Heal this 
Prince of Peace. All right, thank you so much for all those beautiful songs. You've heard the you've heard the story tonight in word, and also in song. And now, we would like to have a couple or whoever wants to be the spokesperson for the group to come and and um, join with us and tell us more about uh, about their group. And uh, that's a lot of good talent there. <laughs> so, uh, uh, tell us. Uh, ex what you'd like to about your group and what, where all you're seeing and how the people can get in touch with you. Well, thank you. You know, we had the pleasure of being at Bruce's Chapel this summer, and that's because Shirley McKnight, who I may be watching tonight, saw the show, mm -hmm. and she invited us to come to their church in the fall, and we had a wonderful time of worship with them. We had so much fun. They were just so welcoming, and we all had a, a wonderful time together, and that's what we want to do. We want to be a part of your worship service mm -hmm. And if you want to invite friends around and say, hey, we got this people coming in, <laughs> come hear the sing, come sing with us. Uh, that's what we're about. We want people to, to join yes. and know that Jesus loves them. Yes. And, um, that, that's so good, though, that you all combined all your talent together. It's a Blended. gift. It's a gift. Yes. You know, a family works together and they work through things. We're kind of like a family. We work through things and sometimes we do better than others, but we all come back together and we eat dinner a lot together, which is great. <laughs> oh, that, oh, now that part, that part we could all enjoy. We have some good cooks in here. <laughs> Uh, okay, you want to tell us about your email and your website and so forth? Sure, I'd be happy to. Um, RahabsRopeBand.com. That's www.RahabsRopeBand.com. And we're happy to share our music. We've got this new Christmas album. We have other uh, music on there as well. Or just call us up and have us come sing and play for your church and invite your friends. Mm hmm. All right. All right. We'll... we'll uh, uh, share a few of these re <coughs> requests that's come in. Here's <coughs> Phyllis from Breathitt County was talking about uh, complimenting the beautiful harmony. Mm -hmm. Well, we agree and we we like the spirit that they are doing their work in. Ernestine from Carter County, uh, prayer for her mother, her pastor's cousin that uh, has a rare, uh, it's only a child, has rare brain uh, tumor and also for some little premature twins. Uh, Theta and Lloyd from Floyd County, uh, they're glad to get WLJC back on TV after being off for three months. Well, I don't, uh, I don't know why we were off for three months, but I'm glad that you've uh, dealt with them and got them to bring it uh, back on. And any of, any of you folk that, uh, well, if you're not on cable, you're not, or, Whatever you're, if you're not listening, you're not going to hear what I'm saying. <laughs> Makes sense. But anyway, uh, we we do appreciate those that help to keep us on in the nursing homes and then the hospitals and then the private homes. So those folks from Floyd County wants to wish us a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. David from Gary County, his uh, wife passed away seven months ago and having a, a, a difficult time. Ernestine, uh, for her pastor, says that's a praise report. He's doing better. Laura, for, for Louise from Harlan, um, she lost her husband uh, and is having a really hard time dealing with it. This is, this is such a time for, uh, for sickness and uh, so forth, and uh, it's, it's very stressful. And... Um, uh, okay, here's one uh, praise report. Etta from Nicholasville said her brother was in the hospital, almost left the world, but he's doing better now. And he wants continued prayer from the Mullins family. They're praying for Don and for Dottie. Dottie, our operator, phone operator for so long. She's been, she's been sick for <laughs> some time now. And of course, Don, he's the last two months has either been in the hospital or the nursing home. And so um, 
Well, we appreciate your prayers. And uh, so anyway, uh, they, uh, they're praying for us. Appreciate it. Johnson County, uh, William um, has a prayer request. Linda from Round County. Thelma from Madison for her family. Esther from Menifee uh, is in a lot of pain. Terry from uh, McKee and Joyce from Johnson County. And there's uh, another Joyce from Carter County. And Wilma and Brenda, uh, Carolyn has called for them. They all have different needs, but you know, uh, thinking about the ones that are facing the holidays without uh, just going through this grief, you have anything you'd like to share to encourage you? It seems that during the holidays, things that are sad that happen feel that much more difficult. And death, it can become a, an anniversary of death and the next holiday rolls around and people have that memory and it's so hard. And so I just wanna encourage you to know that there is such hope in Christ and that next year may be hard, but the year after that and the year after that, like you said at the beginning, he never leaves us or forsakes us. And that's a promise we can hold on to. But it's hard. It's hard. And the friends around you need to know so that they can help you and be there for you. They, yes, they can, they can kind of share, uh, share uh, you know, your burdens and, and pray for you. But, you know, no one can really, really be there for you, the hurt inside except the Lord. He's yeah. the only one. That's true. But that's why we can't say enough good things about the Lord because the daily as you walk with Him, you find out more things about Him. You find out about yourself and <laughs> about how, what a wonderful friend that He is. You know, we all love friends. Well, but some of them sometimes uh, well, even Jesus had friends to turn and leave him, and he asked the disciples, well, are you going to go too? Mm -hmm. But so we have a lot of friends that comes and goes, but, you know, the Lord is one we can bank on, as we'd say. Everything is okay with him. All right. Uh, once again, that uh, live nativity scene at the First Church of God on the Boonville Road, uh, three miles or so out of Batable on uh, South 11. Uh, if you want to go see it, uh, starting about 5.30 tomorrow night will be the last time for it uh, before Christmas. So uh, we, they put forth a big effort. Would you like to lead us in prayer for these and for all the ones that did not call? Because, you know, so many... Uh, so many times people are discouraged, they're, they're depressed or whatever, and they just don't feel like praying. But, but one little touch from the Lord changes everything for us. It does. Uh, we're about out of time, too. Lord Jesus, we know that you hear these prayers even before they were voiced. And we praise you, God. We praise you anyway. Yes. We praise you in the difficulty. We praise you in the happiness, yes. knowing that you're with us always. And Lord, I just especially want to lift up to you, Sister Margaret and Dawn. Um, they have ministered here to many people all over the world, people they don't even have any idea they've ministered to. And I pray that you would uphold them and bless them with your mighty hand through this Christmas season, that they would feel your presence in an extra special, extra special way, Jesus. We ask that in your holy name and we praise you that you are at work in mighty ways. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Once again, let's uh, tell you who our guest was tonight. Is uh, You want to tell us? Well, we're with Rahab's Rope, and we've been singing together for 12 years, and we're happy to come sing at your church. If okay. we can help you in your ministry, that's what we want to do, and we appreciate so much this opportunity to be with all, you all. All right. Well, we're glad to have you. Let's Give them the number again to yes. call you. 859-699-8403. That's 859-699-8403. And it's uh, Rahab's Rope uh, Band at uh, <laughs> dot com. Okay. <laughs> I've been singing for a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate so much this group for coming and sharing with us tonight. And so you've heard the gospel from the word. And you've heard it in song. And so... It's something to really think about and to be thankful for and to realize why 
we're in this time of the year. We're out of time, so from all of us, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you. Love that.